Bubble state management is a must for most apps these days, and that's where Nanostore comes in. It's a single source of truth for all the data in your application in just 265 bytes. What did he say? Oh. Yes, 265 bytes, I couldn't believe it myself when I first saw this. It's atomic, tree shakeable, and has good TypeScript support. It's the perfect choice for an application that needs to be performant without sacrificing the developer experience. It's created by Evil Martian's team, and it's a really incredible yet not very known library. Nanostore is really simple to use. Just install the Nanostores and Nanostores React dependencies, and you're good to go. Now open your project and create a store file. Now import Atom from Nanostore. Atoms are used to store the data for your application. Let's create a pet store, and since we want to use TypeScript, I'll add a pet type and the name property and some initial data for it. Now to access the atom data, we need to use the use store hook and give it the atom as an argument. Now let's map over the pets and show their names. After that, we run the server and go to localhost. It's working and this is only 265 bytes, by the way. Updating the store is really simple. In the pet.ts file, we create a function that will add a pet and in the app.tsx file, I'll add a button that's gonna call the function. Now we have a store that's reactive too, in just a couple of lines and 265 bytes. Nanostore can do many other things, like holding maps which contain key and value pairs, deep maps which are like maps but with nesting, lazy stores which will use resources only if the store is really used in the UI, and it's a unique feature that nanostores offer, computed stores that only update when their dependencies get updated, tasks that can be used to await async operations, and store events which you can listen to. Nanostores is a very robust global state management, and it's something you should definitely check out if you want a good developer experience and performance at the same time.